it will go ahead and run the MCP tool to get the selected widget and change the code for me. So let's say you're using the new Flutter extension for Gemini CLI, and you're ready to run the app to make changes. Let me show you how to do that. Here, I've opened the Flutter app in Visual Studio Code, and I've run the app like I normally would. This way I can take advantage of Dart and Flutter's awesome dev tools. Now, to connect Gemini CLI to my running app, I can open the Visual Studio Code command runner and type copy DTD URI. Then I can paste that URI into Gemini CLI and it will connect to the running app using the MCP server. You should see the connect Dart tooling daemon tool running. Now I can open the widget selector and select the widget like I normally would. Then I can tell Gemini to change that widget. It will go ahead and run the MCP tool to get the selected widget and change the code for me and it hot reloads the app too. Or another thing I can do is I can add a package from Pub. So let's say I want to add a SQLite package that uses Dart FFI, but I don't know which one to choose. I can just enter a prompt that describes what I want and Gemini will search Pub for me and install the package it thinks is best. And you can see it searched for the best package and installed the SQLite 3 package for me. There's a lot more you can do with the Flutter extension when you connect the MCP server to your running app. So go check out the README to learn more.